Jesus, oh. there we go. I was about to fucking invoice you. Oh, my, uh, my, my apologies, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> oh, what's going on, bud? Uh, I'm just curious as to whether there's, I don't know, any bad blood between us or anything that I need to clear up or what's... Uh, the last time I felt like we talked, I thought we were fine, and now I'm hearing this. <laughs> um, we are fine. You know, no bad blood. You know, we got no problem with you, Bundy. You know, you're a decent cop when you're not uh, putting in your effort, uh, you know, and protecting the Simones at whatever cost you, you know, you can. Maybe an eye. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Come on, cut the bullshit, Bundy. Mr. Buddha, you realize there is a report in which I admit to asking Reed Dankleaf to murder Michael Simone, right? Yeah, I also realized that when I pulled up <laughs> Michael Simone, it was very clearly a lie. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I'm well aware of that. Not only because of the twats that have gone out or because of the fact that people stopped grieving him after a week and a half. Or the fact that he left me a dead drop with a card that said, uh, I'm sorry I was being dramatic. Why? <laughs> oh, you guys. <laughs> well, prior to the MDW being updated, uh, it said that you and Jenny confirmed he was dead. I don't confirm that anyone's dead. That's the hospital's job. Right. The hospital shot. Right. So who at the <laughs> hospital confirmed he was dead, Bundy? Uh, my recollection of that entire day is that he was already, well, somebody, because it clearly wasn't him, was already exploded. Um, I showed up on duty, was requested to immediately come down to the morgue. Uh, where there was a blown-to-shit body uh, sitting on a table with a, a little bit of a sheet covering it. Uh, Dr. Dahlia Fay had performed the vast majority of an autopsy and sample gathering along with an intern she was working with, who I don't fucking remember. When I first showed up, I was not told... I was told by Brian Knight that there wasn't a doctor there, that, quote, only EMS was working on it. Turns out that wasn't true. Dahlia had already done a full autopsy. Um, Dahlia. She is a, what do they call them? Like the supervisor doctors or whatever? Uh, like their version of a sergeant, I guess. Um, she, she works at Dahlia the hospital. Faye? Yes. Okay. So. She confirmed he was dead? Uh, she confirmed that the person on the table was dead. She performed initial like blood sampling or whatever. Um. I believe she also confirmed the fingerprints. Everything else was sent to an outside lab. Why do you have? A, why did you? Why did you have his sniper rifle? Because uh, I was going to kill him with it. <laughs> well, I mean, didn't he give it to you? Yeah, he did. Um, there should be a report on that as well. There is a part of that report that I left out. I don't because... fucking read reports, Bundy. Okay, all right, I'll give you the TLDR. The part that was left out was uh, that I was in the act of about to drop... Uh, you remember Cornwood? Uh, yes. Yeah, I was going to drop Cornwood's fat ass off the top of uh, the Maze Bank Tower uh, because he had pointed a gun at my wife, and I was very heated about it. And, Your uh, wife? Lennon Bundy. Uh, she's a doctor at the hospital. Um, He's a doctor at the hospital. Yes. <laughs> hmm. okay. Um, I was going to make it lean, Bundy. No, she's actually a uh, she's a CI for me on the lean investigation. She's provided quite a bit of information. Uh, actually, coming yeah, back to Dolly about Faye that again. That investigation, Bundy. <laughs> I think there's some conflict of interest there. Your best friend, buddy, you know, buddy, best pal, uh, Nicholas Simone, does somehow own the hospital while being a known terrorist. You know what I mean? I, I don't know if you're the right guy for the for the investigation. I'll be honest here. <laughs> My best friend, and Nicholas Simone. Are you serious, M Mr. Buddha? Listen, my my you, extent of contact with Nicholas Simone terminated at the time that his brother was pronounced dead. Right. He only owns the hospital your wife works at. Yeah, what, what 
what the fuck am I gonna do about that? The guy is literally evil Batman. He tried to shoot my goddamn well, well, you daughter. Know what you're gonna do? You know what you're gonna do, Bonnie? How can we never? How can we never <laughs> ask yourself the fucking question? How does a known terrorist, okay, be the guy that rebuilds the hospital, one the, of probably the, the most the needed Kyle services? Set on fire and blew up. Yeah. <laughs> I don't give a shit about that. The entire <laughs> one of the most needed services in the city that's ran and facilitated by the state. How does a known terrorist come by and privatize the entire thing? You ever ask yourself that question? Uh, yeah, I actually directly suggested that it was in conflict with the uh, legislation that was put in place allowing Cerberus to back the uh, CPD because that legislation only allows the privatization of police departments through funding and says nothing about taking other branches of government and making them private. I'm going to be honest, his purchase of that hospital is probably illegal. <laughs> How can we never explore that then? Because another branch of it, there's nothing criminal about it. It's just illegal. Somebody in the fucking government needs to sue them. <laughs> there's nothing illegal about this guy owning a fucking hospital? I mean, I guess there isn't, but. Yeah, there, there's no criminal statutes that say it's illegal to own a hospital. I mean, unless we catch him practicing medicine in there or something, then if he's just doing admin shit, then. I mean, it's basically the same thing as Sabbath Cohen doing fucking admin shit in there. Nobody, nobody can stop that. <laughs> mm. So you never questioned these things before, or have you? No, I, I have. There's, It's just a, above my pay grade and outside of my realm. I keep an eye on what's going on there. I'm fairly confident that the doctors are over-prescribing cough syrup so that it can be made into lean. In fact, a doctor was overheard yesterday. Uh, a patient walked in, said they had a cough, and then a doctor said to another doctor, I need money to pay off my car, and then went in there and gave them cough syrup, 15 bottles. So, so here's yeah. Here's my problem, right? Here's my problem. Here's my problem. Uh-huh. How come everybody gives me the same fucking answer? Why are you guys so scared of going after these fucking trust fund pricks? I'm the one who put the case against Michael Simone. I'm not, I'm not afraid of going after fucking anybody. The reason that I keep the sniper rifle with me, which, by the way, it's in my car outside right now, is because in the event that shots are fired, because that was happening an awful fucking lot while we were investigating that guy, a Glock 22 is not going to reach him. He's shooting us from half a mile away. Do you he have a sniper rifle in your car right now? Yeah, it's in my lockbox. <laughs> is that illegal? Uh, yeah, probably now that I'm not high command anymore. <laughs> is a sniper rifle? There's no way. I Bundy, what the fuck's wrong with you? No, yeah, it's a class three. Yeah, but Bass is aware that I have it. <laughs> As the state, we're confiscating your sniper rifle. You're confiscating my sniper rifle. Yes. <laughs> Okay, you can send a member of the State Department to pick it up. I will make it available for them in a locker at the PD. Buddy, how do you not see an issue with this? I <laughs> thought you were, like, way more straight, uh, you know, straight, you know, what's the word? Way more like, uh, I guess, not, like, you're, you're always, like, straight to the point kind of guy. I, I, I am straight to the point, Mr. Buddha. The point is that this is a super terrorist who was shooting at us with M24s and AWM sniper rifles. And the only thing that we had to combat that was a tool that he gave us. He called me after, he, after he dropped it off and said basically that he was tired of playing cat and mouse and that he wanted things to be more even. That is why he supplied it to me, was because he was continuing to shoot at me. It was after he took my fucking eye. <laughs> um, here's my problem. Like, I'm really conflicted because I get what you're saying. But I feel like now you're just like stooping at his level, no? Um, no, not explicitly. Uh, I'm not placing trackers or bombs on cars. I haven't placed any bombs at the Simone residence. I, I haven't tagged up Michael was here in various locations, or Bundy was here, I guess it would be. 
uh, I simply have a tool at my disposal that in the event he decides he's going to shoot at us with a sniper rifle, I can shoot back. I mean, Mr. Buddha, uh, with all due respect, whenever officers engage into armed conflict and little soul and uh, browning high powers are being used against them, and FN's, FN57s are authorized, do we say we're stooping to their level for shooting back? Should we just sit there and take it? No, it's not the shooting, motherfucker. It's, you're, you're literally using a <laughs> fucking gun that the terrorists gave you that's probably illegal. Is the gun illegal or not? Uh, by... <laughs> yes. The gun, well, okay. The, the gun is just as illegal as any other Class 2 or Class 3 firearm would be. The thing, right? It's, it's, it's probably manufactured by, like, one of his fucking people. You know what I mean? It probably comes from, like, the, you know, the black market. Uh, more than likely. The gun was ran when we received it into custody. It appeared to be, quote-unquote, clean insofar as it wasn't tied to any prior incidents. The only hot one that we've ever found was the one that we found uh, that shot me that I'm aware of. Uh-huh. Uh, but yeah, probably probably came from some seedy Russian shipment. So what's your plan here, Bundy? Because it seems to me you know a lot and knew a lot to take him down, but you never did it. Yeah, we could never find the fucking guy. We found him exactly once when we apprehended him at the tuner shop. Well, what about his brother? His brother's just as guilty as he is. We've got nothing to pin on him. I've got one story from Cleo Shaw that dates back a year and two months ago that has absolutely no fucking evidence other than the eyewitness testimony of Cleo Shaw. And she's my daughter, and I love her to fucking death, Buddha. You know that? Mm -hmm. But, but what, what is that weight of testimony going to be worth against the guy who owns the hospital in court? I'm about to, dis I'm about to defund his hospital and dismantle it. <laughs> well, that might... That might bump his testimony down a little bit, but regardless, you and I have both seen the he said, she said nonsense. We got no blood. We've got no bullet casings. We've, we've, you know, we've got allegations from her that range from he shot at me with a sniper rifle that all the way up to there was a nuclear submarine of some kind that was supposed involved at one point. But I heard about that. But we don't even have a fucking picture of it. Like, we, we, we've got actually nothing. I've got nothing to tie him to any of these alleged crimes. The only thing I, I, the only thing that I personally can attest to as an officer is the fact that he certainly has access to equipment that an ordinary individual wouldn't, none of which is illegal, by the way. Uh, we don't have any legislation that says a GPS jammer that makes police officers undetectable, for instance, is an illegal item. Whoa, 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 whoa. what do you mean by that? Oh, I mean that uh, during the search for his, uh, for his brother during the time that he was missing, uh, Nicholas Simone demonstrated to us that he had access to all sorts of things. Bags that he puts over people's heads, GPS jammers, um, and then apparently somebody was attacked by a shark while they were being tortured at one point. I don't know if he has a trained shark. That that might be a thing. <laughs> now all of this is starting to make sense to me. Okay. <laughs> Bundy, I don't know if I can trust you, buddy. You're a good cop. You're probably the smartest cop in your entire police department. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> but your emotions seem to get in the way of your police work sometimes. And hey, you know, you're only human. That's fine. But I do think that you're working with these motherfuckers. I'm going to be honest here. I'm not going to co confiscate your sniper rifle. I was only kidding. <laughs> but, uh, That's good, because I wasn't, wasn't going to tell you about the second and one. I hope in that process you're not caught in the crossfire. Listen, Mr. Buddha, you have my assurance that if there is anything concrete to stick on either Michael or Nicholas Simone, that it will be done. 
Uh, insofar as uh, the alleged death of Michael Simone, uh, Jesus. Okay, I know it's a, I know it's a touchy Rod, subject. Rosa, 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 fucking bug, my Brazilian <laughs> walnut desk here. I just had to get it. Sorry, my bad. Continue. Uh, look, I, general process for identifying DOAs at the morgue is we take a set of fingerprints and we do a blood draw. That's it. Uh, when I initially arrived on scene, I had Brian Knight screaming at me that there were no doctors present. Turns out that wasn't true. Dahlia Faye was present. Uh, I had uh, both Olivia Copper and Jenny Hall telling me that we had Kyle Pred and Brian Knight literally screaming at members of Seaside and teasing them about the fact that Michael Simone had died. Uh, and knowing the capabilities that a gang has at a place like the morgue, we tried to de-escalate the situation. Uh, prior to any viewing taking place, we ensured that doctors had taken all of the samples they needed, they had finished their autopsies, and so on and so forth. Um, but, frankly speaking, the alleged death of Michael Simone, was a, it was a very fucking political situation. We had his brother there who very well may have access to similar methods that Michael has. We had, an, uh, we had three Go gangs. On. Well, yeah, no, he does. Uh, we, we had three gangs that were fucking present because uh, Seaside and, like, two others. I, I think half of Hydra was there. Um, they hate him now, yeah. Yeah, with, with a lot of fucking tensions on the rise. We, we did probably six times more to try to confirm that this fucking guy was dead than we do for the... For you know, even the highest profile of criminal who comes through the morgue. I, I don't know why the testing came back that way. I, I have no fucking idea. Okay, let's circle back to why do you think the the way he acquired the hospital or whatever the fuck built it was illegal? Can we circle back to that? Uh, Yeah, I think that... Um, hold on, let me grab my MDW. If I'm not mistaken, uh, the legi you would know a little better than I would. The legislation that got put into place relating to the funding of police departments, uh, the stuff that Cerberus did with PBSO back in the day, that only applies to police departments, which means that, realistically speaking, the privatization of another direct branch of the Los Santos government that would just be outside of legislation. So unless it was approved by the Senate, then... I, I don't think that he was legally allowed to do so that. Did he use this legislation? Are you assuming he used this legislation to privatize it? I'm assuming. Or do you know if he tried to? I, assuming? Okay. I'm assuming. I mean, the whole thing happened very quickly. Kyle Pred burnt down uh, Viceroy, and then what was it? 48 hours later, Simone Memorial opened, uh, and that was the first that I had ever fucking heard of Simone being involved with the hospital. This shit's killing me. <laughs> this shit is killing me, Bundy. And I hope you're on our fucking side when I take these cocksuckers down, because they ain't gonna like what I'm about to do. Um, listen, I got no bad blood with you, seriously. I just don't know if I can trust you. I hope I can. I can understand. For me, I've been chasing these Simones around for a while now. Uh, before, it was more for fun, because I was bored, but now that I'm the mayor... Uh, I've kind of made it my life's mission to actually uh, try to make the city a better place. And, uh, you know, from outside looking in perspective, it looks like a lot of people uh, do what they can to protect uh, the Simones or not question anything they do, and they let them run around, do whatever the fuck they want. Uh, and I'm tired of it. Well, I think a good place to start would be to have a state team of lawyers dig into the acquisition of the hospital and figure out exactly what the fuck happened there. Because I don't think that the ho the hospital board is just, it's a board of directors. They shouldn't be allowed to fucking sell a hospital. Um, yeah, I mean, that's the, that's the, the state owns it. That, that's the thing. The state owns that hospital. Yeah. Technically. Unless, I see, that's where it gets weird. The state owns that hospital unless the doctors thought they owned the hospital and paid Nicholas Simone to build them a hospital? I don't know. I got to figure that out. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the details of that probably need to come to light. As, as far as Michael is concerned, I know he's alive, but I have no idea what the fuck he's doing. Huh. Uh, but, as, as, as crazy as this is to say, Brian Knight is probably the better person to speak to about that. He's been more current on that investigation than I have.
Okay. Uh, understood. Thank you, buddy, for your time. You go. I got nothing against you. Just, uh, you know, I got to, you know, leave no uh, stone uh, left unturned. Unturned? Is that the saying? Uh, yeah, I think that's the saying. Yeah. Well, so I appreciate you reaching out, all right? Well, Mr. Buddha, if, uh, if you're ever under a threat by Mr. Simone and uh, you, know, you need somebody on the roof of this building, give me a call. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I would love uh, that sniper rifle. If you ever want to get rid of it, you give me a call. Yeah, I'll let you know if it's uh, if it's going up for sale. <laughs> yeah, Bundy, let me call Ben Crane. Yeah, no shit, dude. <laughs> ben Crane gets an email two minutes from now. Over Bundy's dead body? No, under Michael over Michael Simone's dead body. Michael Simone actually perming or getting life in jail is how Bundy gets rid of the sniper rifle. Just an just an FYI for chat. That's that's the condition for Bundy actually giving up his sniper rifle. Uh, however, I will say Bundy would gladly have allowed Lang to take this sniper rifle or have Bass take it. Because what they don't know is Bundy has another one. <laughs> I don't think anybody knows that Bundy has two sniper rifles. <laughs> so... <laughs> so Bundy would have happily been like, yeah, sure, here you go, take it. And then would have still kept one in case he needed to shoot Michael. <laughs> All right. Well, that was fun. It's probably going to blow up with Cleo because I guarantee you Lang is immediately going to turn around and stir shit with her.